Okay, so we've got a bit to talk about today, and uh, and we've got a brand new Scream Ozil. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. You guys already know, gone and completed the entire objective. I'm not one of those people that doesn't do the objective. There's a lot of people that copy these videos on YouTube, and they don't do the objective at all. I'm going to always put 110% in to get the objective completed, and... We've gone ahead and completed the whole objective, which is pretty cool. So let's go one by one. Classic number 10, incredibly easy. Uh, assist 10 goals in online mystery ball matches. Now, one thing you have to be careful with, just make sure you don't count rebounds as your assists. Um, you have to score more than 10 in the game because you're going to score a bunch of rebounds. Um, as long as you get 10 assists, you can assist with any single player at all. Just use your main team with it. Um, make sure when you get the shooting boost, you just do a pass off and you get the shot off. Um, that's pretty much the easiest way. You get a two-player pack for this. Um, I did this in one game. It was really easy. Uh, I managed to get that done really quickly. And we'll go and open the two-player pack straight away. Let's just see if we can get anything good. You never know. It is a two-player pack. Sometimes they give out good stuff. Um, and in this one, we're unfortunately not going to get a board or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and skip that. But like I said, just, just make sure that you... Um, you get yourself your assists. So, for example, hitting the post, rebounds, things like that, don't count towards assists. Make sure that you you don't fall into the trap of scoring 10 goals and thinking you've done it because you really wouldn't have because, obviously, um, you have to get an assist with some player. Now, the next one, assist 10 goals using three balls in a squad battles on min semi-pro difficulty. What a three ball is, it's a triangle or wide pass. Um... This one was incredibly easy. Again, just using my main team for it. Did this in one game. Just make sure you play against really, really awful beta teams. So uh, if we go into squad battles real quick, I'll show you the team that I did it against. Uh, I won 17 nil, as you guys can see. I've played against this team on semi-pro. It's incredibly, incredibly easy. Even the worst of players can do it. Like I said, I won 17 nil. Um, I just found it really easy. You can use R2 to um, update your opponents until you find a team like that. Um, and then just go into it on semi-pro uh, semi difficulty. Um, and you'll find it really easy to do it. Just just make sure you, you score after you've assisted using triangle or Y. Um, that is what a through ball essentially is. And for this one, we actually get ourselves a small Electrum players pack. So I'll go ahead and open up the pack real quick and see if we can get anything good. Now, I like how EA actually give out packs for these. Um, last year, they didn't give out cool rewards like this for the um for completing the objectives like that they, you just sort of got the player and that's it so it's kind of cool that yeah you're uh, adding little mini incentives into it as well as getting the cool player now the thing with this ozil card is is that it doesn't have good agility and balance which means in game he's probably going to be pretty bad he is kind of not not the fastest um now he's not slow by any means 82 pace is not slow but you'll notice that one twos he won't really get onto very easily um Anyway, the next three are the difficult three. I'm going to go with this one first, the Ozil Bounce. Score a chip shot using Premier League plays in two separate rival matches. They're a little bit bugged at the minute. This is why you need to pay attention. So a chip shot is when you hold L1 or LB and shoot at the same time. It, it does a lob shot or a chip shot. Now, these only count towards actually completing it. If you hold L1 or LB all the way until the ball goes into the net, um, you can shoot from wherever. You can you can shoot into an open net. You can shoot into it one where the goalie's coming towards you. Just hold L1 or LB until the ball has fully crossed the line. Otherwise, it won't count. Um, I did this. I did it in like five games and only one counted. I was like, why on earth did that happen? It's because you have to hold L1 down. It's really bugged and stupid and they're not tracking it properly. Um, so make sure you're holding L1 or LB down when you do it. Um, otherwise, you'll notice that it just doesn't count towards it, which is really, really stupid. Um, so make sure you are holding L1. And make sure it's a Premier League player as well. What you will find is there's a lot of people going around in rivals right now allowing you to score a chip shot in return for them scoring a chip shot. We've actually got at least a board here as well. We've got an inform. That's pretty cool. We'll take an untradeable inform. It's going to be a Spanish inform. Strike, I think, is Angel. Um, but you'll find a lot of people in Rivals going around, helping you out, doing the objective, things like that. So, which is pretty cool. I like when the community comes together like that. Um, so, like I said, just make sure you hold L1 down. Don't don't make the mistake like I did of not doing it. Otherwise, it just doesn't count, which is really, really stupid. Uh, I hope EA patches it and fixes it, but it's EA at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. But just make sure that you don't make the same mistake, really, I guess. is probably the, uh, the best way to describe it. Um, the next two are the rivals ones. Um, now, gold medalist is score using ten goal. So, sorry, score ten goals using German plays and rivals. Again, I found someone in rivals. I did this in one game. I found someone in rivals that just let me score ten goals with Sane. Uh, in return, I let him score ten goals with his Sane. 
Really easy, super easy. Make sure you name your team name Rivals. You'll find a lot of people allow you to do the objective. Uh, and the other one, Der Rabe, is the same way. Um, it's assist using uh, plays with a max of 70 physical and 80 passing in, in Rivals and three separate rival wins. Uh, that one, you're going to actually have to play against the guy to get the win. Um, however, the other one, you'll notice uh, you don't. You can just do it. You, you score 10 goals in Rivals. You can literally do it in one game. You don't need the win. Now, uh, that completes Ozil. We'll go, and, we'll go and grab him in a second. I'll show you guys the team that I used in Rivals. Um, so this is the sort of team I used in rivals now for the German goals one I actually had it a little bit differently and I'll show you what I did for the German goals um, I actually had Marco Royce that I have the privilege of having untradeable I know a lot of you guys won't have Marco Royce um, untradeable or just in the game at all uh, I know he's expensive but if you can afford German players just pick up the best German players you can afford um, I went with Marco Royce because he fits the bill and I'll talk about that in just a second I also went with Serge Nabry and Gundogan who I also have untradeable which is really lucky that I have them untradeable because um, I use them in the rivals as well um, and people just let me score goals and unfortunately the, the menus are really laggy in this game so I'm struggling to even get the player so I'm gonna have to like really enunciate all my okay there we go we've got we've got Nabry so this is the team that actually went into rivals with initially to score the 10 German goals um and like I said it I didn't find this difficult difficult at all because I uh, I found someone that helped me out with um scoring the goals uh but that's sort of uh that's that's the the team I went into initially um Royce uh as you see 84 passing 66 physical Fits the bill. So if I got an assist with Royce and won the game, it counted as an assist with a player with less than 70 physical and, and more than 80 passing. Um, that's why I went with Royce. Then we went with Serge Nabry because he's German and a, a good player and I have him untradeable. Um, and I went with uh, Leroy Sane again. German player, untradeable. Uh, sorry, is tradable, but a good German player from the Prem. Uh, allowed me to double up German goals with scoring a chip shot for, with a player from the Premier League. Um, so what I'd recommend doing is uh, going with a uh, slightly weakened side. Try and getting German players from the Prem if you can. Gundogan will probably be a good one want to go for maybe at cam um unfortunately has 71 physical so doesn't actually fit the bill of assisting with less than physical but you'll find a lot of players like for example people like jesse lingard have less than physical and more than 80 passing i'm pretty sure might be wrong on that but players like that are typically uh players that i would go for if i are you agile players things like that um i went and bought leroy sane for this objective alone um Cost me 200k, and I know a lot of you guys won't have 200k spare to just spend on players. Um, but I went and bought Leroy Sane just for this objective to, to help me out with it, basically. Um, and I will be selling him after the objective. So if you need to, I guess you could buy players for it. Um, but yeah, players like Royce, I know obviously a lot of you guys won't be able to afford Royce. I'm not telling you to buy him for the objective. But he helped me out a lot when going into it. And of course, um, if you really want to, if you press the start button and you press square or X on, on Xbox, you can actually find your opponent's gamer tag and you can maybe message him and say, hey, will you help me do the objective? I'll help you do the objective. And if they're a nice guy, they might actually help you out. Uh, a lot of people have uh, helped me out in the past from that. So uh, that is a good way of doing it and, and getting help from uh, other people to do it as well. So um, they're sort of tips and tricks for it, really. Um, and that's sort of how you get the uh, the Urzel objective done. Um, obviously, you get a, cool, a few cool packs for it as well. Unfortunately, we didn't really get... We got an inform, but... Um, yet to get like a walkout or anything from those free packs they are untradeable as well uh so i would say that in case you're wondering um they are all untradeable but mainly just remembering that chip shots are a bit broken is probably the thing i'd take away from this uh now the royce itself like i said uh, i will go into more detail now about it it's face card stats are really cool um the face card stats of it are really good. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's a cool looking card, face card stats. But in game, I mean, 92 vision and 91 short passing, fantastic. 81 long passing is unfair in my opinion for Ozil. But yeah, it's not really a flashback. It's more of a just a, a card based on his current stats, I guess. Um, and that, like I said, 78 agility, 72 balance is absolutely terrible for Ozil. 71 stamina isn't great. 80, uh, sorry, 60 strength isn't too bad, to be fair. Um, the rest of his stats are pretty decent. Uh, good finishing, good composure, um, decent volleys or very good volleys. Good attacking positioning. I think this is a guy it will be a very good cam in more of a cheaper team. If you guys are looking to build maybe a cheap uh, Premier League team or a cheap German team or something like that, I think you'll, uh, you'll probably enjoy using him a little bit more um but i just don't think it'll be a card that i personally want to use but like i said it's, like i said with the jecko one at the end of the day it's a free card same with jecko if i down the line need to do an, uh, an objective and i need uh, sorry i need to do a um an SBC and I need an 87 rated card. I have a free Jekko and a free Urzel that I can put into these objectives, uh, into the into these SBCs, sorry, from the objectives. And uh, 
they're going to help me out a lot, really. So that's sort of uh, what I wanted to talk about in terms of the Urzel objective. Uh, good luck if you guys are doing it. Um, let me know down below if you've already done it. It took me a few hours. It's really, really easy. Um, and it's a cool card at the end of the day. It's a cool looking card. Um, let me know down below if you completed it. Let me know if you enjoyed the video as well. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support on the channel recently. We just broke, um, just the other day, we broke like 104,000 subscribers. And we are right now... Um, almost at 105,000, which is pretty cool. So I'm really grateful for that and I appreciate that. Thank you all, like I said, for the support and I'll see you later.